Hello students, welcome back to my channel. So today we are discussing important questions for the fourth sem. The subject is analysis and design of algorithms with the subject code BCS401. So let's get started. From module 1, I have chosen four questions. The first question is define algorithm, explain asymptomatic notations with example. The asymptomatic notations are big theta, big omega and so on. The second question is explain the general plan for analyzing the efficiency of recursive algorithm. From this you will get any one, either you will get factorial uh, algorithm for computing a factorial of a positive number or maximum element in the list of number and they can even ask the efficiency in terms of order of growth. And the third one we have this question. This is a fixed question and which appears most of the time. The fourth is steps for analyzing and designing the algorithm. If you are focusing on leaving any one module, you can leave this module because it focuses completely on the theory itself. But if you are planning to do something from this module, then you can go with the third problem. So moving on to the next module, that is a module 2. We have five questions. The first question is explain Strassen's matrix multiplication. They either get theory questions or other problematic questions. Second, explain divide and conquer algorithm with block diagram. You can get these questions only this much or what they do most of the time is they also put any sort technique with this question that is either merge sort, quick sort or insertion sort. They put any of one of the questions with this. Third is traveling salesman problem. Fourth is knapsack problem. Fifth, you can also get individual questions on merge sort, quick sort, insertion sort. So if you're focusing only on passing, so don't forget to do merge sort, quick sort and insertion sort. That is very important along with divide and conquer algorithm. And even the first question is important. So next is module three. I have four questions. The first is define AVL3. They either ask you to construct this tree or they'll ask you for the explanation. So the second is bottom up or top down heap construction. Mostly you get questions from bottom up itself. The third is horse pool algorithm. From horse pool algorithm or boiler more but most probably we'll get horse pool algorithm questions only. That example we have in your textbook that Jim saw barber something like that. So that example is important. The fourth is heap construction or explanation. So if you're focusing only on passing, then please do second question and third question. Fourth module. From fourth module, I have six questions and these are all problematic questions. There is no theory in fourth question. The first is Kruskal, second is Huffman, third is Dijkstra, fourth is Washels, fifth is Greedy Knapsack and sixth is Floyd algorithm. If you're focusing only on passing, then you can from 1 to 4, if you practice any 3 problems also, you will pass from this module and will be able to score full 20 marks. From module 5, we have knapsack problem, problems on branch and brown. Third is n queens problem using backtracking and that is mostly they ask you for 4 queens and fourth is explain the following with example and this 4 definitions they will ask you all to explain. So if you are focusing only on passing, from module 5, it is very important to do the first two questions and even the third questions. Fourth question is the theory question. You can write anything and come in the exam. But first uh, three questions are very important. You get this for 10 marks. So please uh, focus on doing these three problems. So these are the questions from module 1 to module 5. And now I'll tell you which module you can skip. If you're trying to skip any module, then you can skip module 1. But all the questions which I have highlighted, if you study only those questions also, you will be able to pass in the exam and get very good score. If you try to solve and learn the questions which I have mentioned in this video, I am very sure you will have a very good score. So that's it for today. So I wish you all the best for your exam and uh, don't forget to like the video, subscribe the channel and share it with all your friends. And if you have any doubts regarding any topic or anything, you can put it down in the comment section and I'll make sure I'll reply to it. So thank you. Wish you all the best.